Welcome back to the third edition of Prodly Did You Know? Very excited to bring you uh, more information around Prodly has work management integration. Again, I am your co-host, Scott Teeple. Here with me is Jen, a wonderful Jen who knows everything about Prodly. So it's great to have her uh, on the channel. Um, so yeah, I think we'll um, dive uh, right in here if I can get this worked out. I don't think much uh, um, introductions. I've been with Prodly now for uh, coming up on two years now. Uh, Jen, you've been a little bit longer. I'll uh, work in support. So um, obviously, if any questions uh, from the webinar, please uh, don't uh, hesitate to reach out to us. So as we talk about Prodly has work management integrations. So you trust Prodly for your CPQ data. Prodly does so much more. And I think that's what this channel, this, this um, message is really all about because you trust us as a single tool for your ALM tech stack consolidation. But as we dive in a little bit deeper into workforce management, um, Jen, kind of what's the purpose uh, of integrating a work management system with a, with a tool like, like Prodly? Yeah, sure. So it's really um, around kind of tracking and organizing. Um, so, you know, when you think about these work management systems that you work with, and by that we're referring to, you know, your JIRA, Azure boards, this kind of thing. But um, those tools are all there to help you and your team manage your workload and, you know, prioritize what needs to come out, what needs to be fixed. And so when you're making those changes with Prodly, um, it's helpful to be able to link back to the original work item. So, you know, your stories, your bugs, your tasks, essentially these are gonna lead to some form of a deployment, right? So when you do that deployment, you're able to then link your work items to the deployment. So you can always clearly see why the deployment um, was initiated to begin with. And then of course we come around on the back again, where we're able to then use those work items when you're using Prodly to monitor the changes in your environment. We can test about that a little later, but. Yeah, in, in a lot of ways, right? Like the, the whole reason why you have a work management system is to document the work that's actually getting done. Right. So, and I think at the end of the day, um, that work is typically being done, could be manually. Um, but the hope is um, that you're definitely bringing the, that, that documentation back to once the ticket is worked, um, that it gets closed out and, and dispositioned. And I think you just kind of hit on, on the next question that we were going to kind of go over, which is, you know, Prodly now integrates with all of these work management systems. What systems um, does Prodly integrate with? Yeah, so we integrate with uh, Jira, Asana, uh, GitHub Issues, and Azure Boards right now. I think I got them all, uh, but we'll also be able to take a look at the full list um, later in our demo as well. Yeah, what's what's the reason why Prodly is integrating with so many work management systems? Why not just one? Uh, well, we listen to our customers, Scott, <laughs> and all of our customers use different work management tools. So, uh, you know, we kind of rolled it out. I think it was uh, Jira and the Azure side. And then, uh, you know, we had some requests come in to support some other uh, work management integrations. So we went and built it for our customer. Yeah, that is the right answer. So thanks for that, Jen. So when you think about uh, the basics of a work management integration tool, right? So, and, and again, this is part of this channel that, that we have here is to really kind of break down when you think about what it means to have work management, Jen. Um, well, tell us a little bit about um, some of the functionality that, that we have um, that, our, that our customers and prospects can look forward to, to having when they, when they integrate with, with the work management. Sure. So, um, I mean, we can look at the list here. This really is uh, referring to kind of the basics of a work management integration. But when we look at some of these points here, you know, when it comes to like linking issues, that's kind of the, the main idea here, right? Is that you're actually able to physically link your issues to your deployments. Um, and then, you know, we have controls around like the permissions, things like this. So you can control who can view what. Um, and then we also have the ability to run reports on those changes based on the work items that are linked, uh, as well as uh, filtering and searching for different work items. And of course, this is scalable and flexible as well. Yeah, and I and I know that we get really excited, and maybe I'm jumping the gun here a little bit, but I do get excited when we talk about work management integration. It's not just, at least in our vision, isn't just in the simple documentation of the work that's getting done, but how do you bring that work forward, right, into Prodly, 
uh, or into your work management system to to be able to accelerate the work that actually needs to get done, like scratch or creations within your work management system. Could you imagine a world where you have a button in your work management where you can have those environments automatically created by the push of a button? That's the vision that we're really bringing, uh, I think, um, to, to change this landscape around how work management integration means, not just within the basics uh, that you see on the screen. Sorry, I missed, missed my uh, my slide button there. All right, so now the customer story. So, you know, when, when you think about work management, we have conversations with customers. Um, I, I think some of the questions is, you know, how does that integration work, Dre? Yeah, so pretty pretty straightforward to set up, right? You go get in there, you're going to use, you know, your URL to your work management system, your personal access to, you know, or uh, you can connect with all of them well. Uh, to certain integrations, but essentially you set up that connection between your work management integration and Prodly. And then we do have an option to make it required, which I think if you're really kind of trying to enforce a process, it's probably the way to go. Uh, so if you do make it require that you need uh, to link a work item to your deployment in order to submit the deployment, any users that are going to submit a deployment without linking their work item first, um, they're actually going to not be able to submit it. So that's optional, the required part. Uh, but once you get it set up, really straightforward to set up. And then it's really just a matter of searching for your tickets based on, you know, the, the description and the issue number. Uh, you, of course, can also see the statuses of those tickets in Prodly as well. Uh, but you go and you actually link those to your deployment. And then, of course, if you ever need to modify that, let's say you link the wrong one, you can you can adjust that if needed. Um, and you're always able to see those linked work items when you're looking at your deployment results. So that's really easy for someone who wants to go and verify, you know, I see a deployment in here, but why, why did we run this deployment? And that's kind of what we say a lot, right? Like that this is the why piece. It's like, you're telling us why are you actually running this deployment? What does it link back to? What are you hoping to achieve? What task are you trying to close? It's a. Yeah, and we know that we know that there's kind of two steps within, you know, how it works, right? The Prodly side, which is what you just kind of described. But we do have, and I think leading into the next question, right, in this two-way integration, um, that there is a little bit of a setup that your your work management tool may be able to to, to need to be able to install the Prodly side uh, of of our app. Uh, so I guess what what is what's the importance of an integration that is on both ends uh, in two-way between Prodly and your work management system. Yeah. So when we talk, <clears throat> excuse me, when we talk about this kind of bi-directional relationship, what we're really referring to, and let's just take an example, like let's say Jira, for example, you know, you have your tasks and your stories and your bugs that exist in Jira, and then you're going and running deployments and you're linking your Jira tickets to the deployment. So when you're actually in Prodly, you can see your Jira, you can reference Jira. But uh, when we talk about the bi-directional, we're talking about that integration existing on both ends. So when you're actually in JIRA, you can then also go and see those link deployments. So that's really helpful, right? Think of like a release manager or someone who's going to want to be checking up to see that that those deployments are done, the work is done, that's tied to the, the work item. So they are always in JIRA. They might not be spending that much time in Prodly. So in that case, it might be beneficial for them to be able to see that information from there and quickly reference the deployments, you know, that were related to that work item. So having it on yeah. both, being able to access Prodly from Jira and being able to access Jira from Prodly. And I should mention, this is uh, the bi-directional relationship right now. We have it for Jira, we also have it for Azure Boards. And I believe we're going to be adding it to for GitHub issue. You know. Yeah, many, many more to come. So if you're a customer and it's something that you're really looking for and you need, you know, please reach out to Jen and I. We'll definitely have some conversations with our engineering and product team on your behalf to make sure. But you just dipped into, I think, one of the major benefits uh, of having this integration, right? When you think about as a release manager working with, you know, your day-to-day, -day, maybe in your your Jira or your, your Azure boards, uh, and being able to very quickly see uh, the disposition of that ticket and the work that is actually done. Uh, are there any other benefits that, that come to mind when you think about having this work management system in place? Yeah, and it kind of ties into the next point as well is kind of that piece around uh, monitoring. So again, we have, you know, you can see from Jerry, you can see your uh, deployments and vice versa. But then we also have um, a monitoring piece that allows you to actually run reports based on the work items. So 
you know, you can actually go in there and see what changes were made to your data, like your actual record on the record level. You can see exactly what changes were made and how those changes uh, tie back to the work item. You can clearly see from there as well. Yeah, this is this is really near and dear to my heart, right? When you think about tying the what to the why to the who to the when, right? When you think about what it takes to pass uh, an audit um, coming from kind of the the uh, the IT healthcare space and the previous roles being directly involved in some of these really horrible, I mean, wonderful experiences of trying to satisfy um, compliance and, and audit. Uh, it can really be a time suck when you think about all of the documentation and all the work that has to go into to prove that you're doing what you say that you're supposed to be doing, right? So having kind of this this ability to have a one click, one touch kind of report that brings again not only the documentation that you've already done within your work management system, but then tying that to exactly who did it, when they did it, um, so that way you have a full story to be able to take that back to your auditors and say, say, hey, look, this is what we've done, and I don't have to spend four, five, six, seven hours uh, with the whole project team sitting there saying, okay, why did we do this change? What was the documentation? What was the ticket that we did it? Uh, so it really brings that kind of all together into into a single single package. So. All right, so I think this just launches into maybe a real quick demo. Uh, so I will stop sharing my screen here and let Jen take it over and give a, a little bit of a demo. So to access the integrations, you'll wanna come of course to the release tab, but then also um, go over to settings here. And then you can hop you can using navigation here to the integrations. This is where you're gonna see everything we have available for you to connect to. So if you guys are looking to use Jira, you'll select Jira. Well, when you hit connect, it's just a wizard will pop up. Again, very straightforward. It's going to show you, you know, uh, add, add your project URL, um, add your personal access token and your email. Now, once it's connected, that's when uh, you will see something more like this and you'll have a link uh, to your work management tool. So this is where you can mark it as required as well. So I'll just go ahead and put that as required for now. So once I have this set up, and again, I'm connected here to my Jira account um, where my, my actual tickets are going to live. So when I come in here and I'm ready to run a deployment, we'll just set this up. Let's say I'm just going to deploy some data today. What we got. So I'm going to just try to um, deploy this without actually adding my, my work item just to show. All right, so we're getting a message up at the top just letting us know that we need to go and link that work item if we want to submit the deployment. So that's when we can come in here. And now this is where you're going to search for your work item. So for example, I can search by the uh, ticket number. I happen to know the number I'm looking for. I can also see the status. So right now it's in to do. Um, I can see, uh, you know, the name and the label and the actual number that relates to it. So once I've linked that, that's when I can go ahead and submit my deployment. And so this is an example of linking a work item uh, to a deployment that you're submitting. But then, of course, you also have the ability to, to modify that. So let's say I just submitted this deployment, but I realized that uh, that's actually not the one I wanted to include. In that case, I can always come in and just modify it. So come in here, remove this epic, and then come back in and add the other one that I meant to add originally. And of course, you can also add multiple tickets. So let's just say that a single deployment relates to multiple tickets. You can go ahead and save those changes. And again, those will stay there in the results for you to clearly see whenever you need it. So once you open up a deploy result, we'll have those lay four items at the top. But then, of course, uh, since we're demoing with Jira today, I can show you guys the uh, bi-directional relationship. So this does take a couple steps on the Jira side just to set it up. Pretty straightforward. You have to uh, set up a custom field. Again, you have documentation around it. Um, but once you set it up, it will look something like this. So you'll see this extra section here with the probably Jira integration. And this is where you can actually see all the deployments that have been late to this work item. So that's nice and clear for you to um, determine what's been what's been linked to this work item. And then if you ever want to actually deploy this, you could come and hit deploy this issue. 
but no fears here. Um, your users are still going to be restricted by their accessing Prondly. You know, that, that question comes up a lot. So just want to make sure really all that button does is just takes you back to Prondly where you can then, you know, go and submit your deployment. So if your users don't have access to do that, they still won't be able to do so. All right. Thanks, Jen. That was a, a great demo. And again, I think, um, you know, as you're as you're getting in and uh, wondering more about it, or if you have Prodly uh, and, you, uh, and you don't have it, please don't hesitate to reach out to to Jen and I, uh, as um, we are kind of your point of context going forward. Um, but again, I think the tagline here is you trust us for for your data. Um, we do so much more than just CPQ migration data. Uh, so it's time to take a look at us. You know, uh, look look at us again. And uh, if you're a prospect. Uh, please click on the link and let's get you a demo and get you set up to start doing it the right way. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Jen. Thank you.